let us go before the Lord. O oh, our gracious and merciful, almighty, holy Father, we, your children, gather before you this morning in the wonderful name of our blessed Lord, our Savior, the Redeemer, the Lord Jesus Christ, your begotten Son. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace, your mercy, your love, your health, your favor, your wisdom, your power, and every spiritual blessing that you have given to us in the past days, weeks, months, in the year 2019, in this new year of 2020, and in the first month, which is almost over. Holy Father, it is out of gratitude and obedience to your word that we gather before you because you have commanded us not to forsake the assembling of the congregations that we should not forsake, we should not uh, prevent ourselves from worshipping you. And while we are to worship you every day. We know we have today as a day we consider the Lord's day because he rose on Sunday early morning. And while we dedicate it to worshiping you, we are always in worship every day in our hearts, in our homes, in any location where we might be. Heavenly Father, we gather before you because it is important for us to come before you, to encourage one another, to hear your word, to grow in your word, to share your word, and also according to your word, that the man and woman of God may be thoroughly furnished, equipped to doing what is uh, appropriate. Help us so that we continue to be the light of this world, because when we by your grace and through the power of your Holy Ghost are operating under your commandment and following the principle that you've given to us that we are the salt, we are the light and so we must be able to season uh, the atmosphere where we live and also to shine, to have Christ to shine in our lives so that when people see us, they see Christ, they see what you have done and they know that we are following the gospel of the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank you for this opportunity, Heavenly Father, because your promise is that where two or three are gathered in your name, you are already present, and we believe that you've already fulfilled that. And we also pray that we will not just be here, that we will be uh, just in the same way as Mary sat at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ to listen attentively, to hear what the Son of God uh, was saying. We are also gathered before you to do the same and believe that you will present us your words and that your Holy Spirit doing his work in our lives will allow us to bear the fruits of 100% so that what we hear we will be able to share with others and that we will be able to also reproduce it to be a blessing to one another as we encourage ourselves. We know you have given us the avenue to interact with you and that is through prayer. And as we are praying, we are praying that the prayer that we offer will also be acceptable in your sight because you've given us also the instructions that in Isaiah 65, 24, that when we are doing your will and we have a request, that before we ask, you would have answered it. And while we are still praying, you would have said, here I am, I have already done it. And at the same time, you also told us in Psalm 50, 14 and 15, that we should offer the acceptable uh, worship, acceptable prayer, and that we should also obey your commandment, so that when we have obeyed the vows, all of those principles that we have already done, and everything else that you've commanded us, that we offer our vows and make sure that we don't forsake, to do what is necessary as a Christian, then when we have issues, you have said, 
call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will answer you and deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. So, Holy Father, we know you have given us so many examples, and last week we learned about how in Luke 18, where you gave us the example that everyone should pray, and that when we pray, we should have faith in our prayer. So, Holy Father, we believe that you have given us so many examples that even the, uh, the, the wicked judge, was able to relent, was able to agree and say that, well, I will uh, take care of this woman who keeps coming to me. So, Holy Father, the example is that we should always continue to call upon you and that uh, you answer because that is the avenue you've given to us so that we will not be doing things in our own strength. So, we believe in Heavenly Father that you are here with us and we pray that all of those who are in this building, those who are coming and going, that they will also be blessed and also grow spiritually and to know your will. We thank you for this opportunity and pray that all other things that we need, everyone entering this building uh, with any issues, with any uh, hindrances, Holy Father, that you will remove all of the issues and allow them to enjoy the salvation, the health, the power, the favor, the mercy that comes from you and the success in their lives so that everything will be because you have given them these blessings. Heavenly Father, we are grateful again for all these blessings and believe that if there is anything else that we need, you have already promised to take care of it through our prayers. And we therefore thank you and praise you and believe that you have answered all of this required, not because of anything that we've done, but only through the righteousness, the name, and also through the shed blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And therefore, I want to give you the honor and the glory for all of this blessing you've given to us. To Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.